If you're looking to download an app from the App Store that's been removed, but you've downloaded it previously, I've got some good news for you. You can download it from your purchased apps. And in this video, I'm going to show you how. Let's go. Here's the situation. You've been using an app in the past, but maybe you've got a new device and you're like, I really loved Music Memos, but Apple discontinued it. I can no longer download it here in the App Store. Well, the way around it is to actually go in via your iCloud account and look through your purchased apps because everything you've ever downloaded on any iPad or iPhone or iPod Touch is going to be there. Let's show you where that is. First, we're going to open up the App Store, but instead of searching for the app or finding it in the list here, we're going to tap on our icon here in the top right corner. This will take us to our iCloud account and our previous purchases. Now simply tap on Purchased and then My Purchases. And you'll be presented with every single app you've ever purchased or even downloaded for free in reverse time order. So the most recent apps are up the top here. And as you scroll down, you'll go into older apps. Now, it's a bit clunky to try and find them. So what we can actually do is search here. So for this one, let's search Music Memos, which we searched before. And even though Music Memos was not available in the App Store, because I've downloaded it before, it's going to show up here and I can download it. Let's actually delete this so I can show you exactly how it works. So here is Music Memos. I'm going to tap and hold on that one and I'm going to remove the app. We're going to delete it, but don't stress. This isn't going to be gone forever. I'm going to be able to bring it back with the magic that is the purchased app method. So that is gone. Let's now go to our app store and do exactly what we did before. We're going to tap in the top corner, go to purchased and then my purchases. And now when we search for music memos here, you'll notice that it says previously downloaded here. Now, Will this work for absolutely every app? Well, no. If it's been removed from the App Store due to a violation of Apple's terms of service or another reason, it won't be here. But if it's just been discontinued by the developer and no longer available to download a new version, if you've downloaded it before, you get access to it. This is to protect folks that have paid good money for apps that are no longer available. We hit that download button and it will start the download process and put this back on this new iPad. There we go, downloaded. We can just hit the open button now and Music Memos is back. We're going to use iCloud because that'll bring our old Music Memos all back in here and we'll be good to go. We can start using Music Memos. If you've never used Music Memos and you've never downloaded it, I'm sorry, you're a bit out of luck. But if you have used it before, re-download it. Check out my tutorial videos. They're linked down in the description. Now, at this point, you might be asking, Pete, what if I really, really want to download an app? I've not downloaded it before, but it's not in the App Store. Is there any other way? Well, sort of. There's a workaround. I don't recommend it. And it's a bit of a security risk, to be honest. But what you can do is if you've got a friend or a colleague who has downloaded that app, what you can do is log out of your iCloud account in the App Store, log in as them, go to their purchases and download the app, then log out of them, back in as you, and you should see the app right there on your home screen ready to use. Now, if you delete that app, it's going to go away for good again, and you'd have to do this again. And it is a security risk ever logging in as someone else or logging your account into someone else's device. And before you ask, no, you may not borrow my Apple ID. So there you go, a quick and easy way to access all of those apps that you have purchased before, but may have deleted and have been discontinued. Just jump in to your app store, go to your purchased apps. You'll be good to go. There's more videos down in the description if you want to learn more and I'll see you next time.